Hello everyone. It is my great pleasure to welcome you to a new series that I'm going to be starting. Uh, this is Minecraft. And I just generated a new world. And let me describe to you how this is going to work. So... Oh, there's the music kicking in in the background. Very nice. I don't know particularly if I've seen anyone else do this format. That was a little bit too loud. Okay. But I'm going to call it a Persistent Hardcore Survival. And what that means is, uh, well, first of all, I set the game difficulty to hard. And, of course, I'm playing in survival. And when I die, what I'm going to do is I'm going to teleport myself some large number of blocks away. <clears throat> and any structures or items that um, were left over from my previous life, I'm going to have to discard. So <clears throat> if this series goes on for any decent length of time, what's going to happen is the world will sort of steadily become populated by structures and the world will be impacted by my previous attempts. <clears throat> Which I think uh, that, that idea is really exciting to me. Uh, because I think when everyone plays Minecraft solo, they sort of want to create a living world um, and it's so easy to sort of feel like you're you're playing all alone. I mean, because you are. But I think adding a little bit more persistence, because and always what seems to happen is you you reach this point in the game where you sort of have all the materials that you're ever going to need and you build a bunch of structures and then at that point it kind of gets boring. Um, so my hope is I can structure the series so that I will always have something to be doing and uh, even in the end game it's going to get sort of more and more risky because I will have built so much and have so many resources and it's, it would suck to lose them all. So I'm going to do a similar format to how I did my Spyro Let's Play where I sort of talk about random things. Minecraft especially I think is a, a good choice for this for that type of format because there's usually very little to talk about in Minecraft, and I'm not going to be cutting anything out. <clears throat> uh, I've also enabled cheats on this world so that I can teleport myself without having to do anything crazy. Um, what else? What other housekeeping? Oh, um, this is Minecraft 1.9. I don't know if you can tell, there's that little action bar thing. Um, I've, I've, let's see. Well, if you go back to my, um, uh, my first attempt at recording Minecraft several years ago, that's, that's about when I first started playing Minecraft. And I haven't played it for probably over a year now. Um, I don't really have any opinions or any strong opinions about the the combat update. I guess I'll see how it goes. There's a lot of recipes that I that I don't know, um, just because I haven't been following them, following the development of Minecraft very closely. Uh, you might also notice that you can hear my mouse and my keyboard really well. I apologize, that's just how my mic is going to be. <clears throat> it's also pretty cool that we spawned like next to a village. I think I'll... that's black wool, right? 
Yeah. I think I'll set up my house sort of nearby. Oh, dude, we got like a free farm and everything? Dude, this is like the best case scenario for the series. Awesome. All right. <clears throat> I don't know what that sound was. Could be one of my roommates or something. I don't know. I am living in a dorm, so there's probably going to be a lot of background noise. All right, so without further ado, I'd like to talk about... What would I like to talk about? Oh, yeah, so this is this is probably... This is a pretty zen topic. <clears throat> so, it's about a... Uh, a sort of model of thought that I came up with. Carrots? Sweet. Are they grown? No, they're not. My bad. Um, let's figure out a place to... Oh, I'll just build my house right here. Perfect. So... Uh, I'm trying to think how I want to build this. So, if we imagine that um, a thought were a location in like some landscape, like in Minecraft, for example. <clears throat> Oops. then um, I think that your mind would be best described as sort of uh, a, a river of water. So <clears throat> so what is what are the implications of this? So what I mean by this is really is kind of difficult to talk and build stuff at the same time. Um, when you think, you are you're you're you have the conscious ability to move your mind in a particular direction. That is to say. Uh, when you think, you're sort of pushing around this river of water to different locations in the, the landscape of possible thought. <clears throat> and I think this is a useful metaphor because another feature is that it sort of it sort of emulates my phenomenological experience of thought, which is so specifically when I am trying to solve a problem or I'm, uh, I'm sort of trying to generate new thought. It's, it's more difficult. You have to think hard, so to speak. And I think that's like <clears throat> that's like the extra force it takes to push these rivers of water around to new locations because uh, locations that you've already been there's sort of like a uh, there's sort of like a path carved out in the earth where you've thought before, like thoughts that you've already had before. And so, <clears throat> oh, and then another thing, like when you remember something, your mind has to, uh, wh wherever it currently is, like wherever you're currently, whatever you're thinking about at the moment, 
you have to sort of direct your mind back to a location that you've already been to, which is easier than coming up with the thought out of the blue, but depending on how far away you are from that thought or from that location, uh, it would be more difficult. And of course, if you, if it's in your long-term memory, uh, which is to say you've thought about it a lot, therefore there's a very well-defined path to that thought or location, then it would be easier to think about it. It would be easier to get there. Uh, okay, it's becoming nighttime, so I need to build stuff. Okay. All right. So let's get like some stone. Oh, I don't want to die. Come on, stone, where are you? Jeez, it's all the way down here. Okay, screw it, we're gonna go hide. Oh boy, it's really dark. Um, brightness is on max, great. I can barely see, which means you can't see anything at all. Um, that might work. So yeah, so so the um, the sort of thought as a river metaphor is what I guess you could call it, and I think it's really useful because it's like the only way to think of thought that I've come across that makes the most sense to me. Oh oh oh. Nope. Get, get. Please go away. You're kind of strong, aren't you? Jeez. Wow, that was stressful. <laughs> Is that a skeleton? My goodness. I'm wearing headphones, earbuds, whatever you want to call them. So it's actually quite scary to hear the monster noises. <sighs> okay. So I did all that stuff so I can build a furnace. And I can have a stone pickaxe, but all that is useful to me if I don't have uh, any wood to make um, charcoal out of. Crap. Well, um, well, let's use the stone on a pick, and then use wood for an axe. Oh boy, this is getting crazy already. And yeah, oh, I'm about to die. Well, I have I have bread. This is really scary now, actually, with the with the fact that it's hardcore. Like, there's no oh, I'll just die and come back and put my stuff in a chest. No, that doesn't work. Uh, let me pause a second and check the recording. We got like a minute left, maybe. Um, I don't have a sword. I'm gonna try getting a make a wooden sword. It's better than nothing. Okay. Let's 
sort of uh, something's gonna spawn in here, I'm sure. Okay, quietly now. Let's quietly go out and find. What is that? That is wood, isn't it? Oh, I forgot to go away. Go away. Oh, I don't want to fight you right now. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. Okay. We made it without dying. And case you would. And planks should be good enough to heat that up. All right, I think we've we, we've made a decent amount of progress. I haven't died on the first night. Uh, I'm going to pause it here, and we will continue this in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching.